Hello, hermanos y hermanas. Bienvenidos. So today I wanted to share some things that I have learned um, just recently in the past few months. So I have committed to really living a life infused with nature. Nature is obviously always there, but if you're not paying attention, it's easy to think that we're separate, but we're not, it's, we're all interconnected. So one of the ways that I personally have been doing that is I have been volunteering um, at two places the past four months. So I've been volunteering at a garden and I've been volunteering at a bird sanctuary. And at the bird sanctuary, um, what I am doing is I'm answering phone calls and I just am taking um, payment for when the public comes. It is a nonprofit, um, but there is like a low cost for admission and all the birds on property are birds that are non-releasable. The goal of the rehab center is that to rehabilitate the birds because usually like what happens is somebody will bring in an injured bird. Maybe it got hit by a car. Um, unfortunately, sometimes people will shoot them. I actually haven't seen that, but I know that's a thing. Um, but sometimes they just get injured, you know, you, the animals get injured in the wild. Um, but sometimes it gets hit by a window, maybe it gets stuck somewhere. And so, you know, a good citizen finds it and they're like, oh, I really wanna help this bird. Like, what do I do? So anyways, they call me, I coordinate with the clinic staff to see if we can take care of it. And at the um, bird sanctuary I work at, it's, it's particular for raptors. So I don't work there, volunteer at. It's particularly for raptors. So owls, eagles, kites, vultures. Um, there's not gonna be small birds like songbirds or something like that, like a, or like a hummingbird or anything. They don't, they don't um, take care of those kind of birds there. It's just a raptor center. Anyways, so all that being said is I just wanted to share a really good app with you that if you ever did find a wild animal in distress, and you don't know what to do, which I didn't know what to do, and I'm still learning what to do. Like, it's a lot, you know? Um, there's a really, really good cohesive app that gives you FAQs, and you could type in your address, and then it will list all the lo local rehab centers that you can call them to help you out. But before even calling the rehab centers, you can visit the FAQs because sometimes you don't even need to call. Like sometimes we think there's an issue, but it's just nature being nature and like it's gonna sort itself out. So like some of the FAQs are, I found, I found a baby bird, what should I do? I found a baby owl, hawk, or eagle, what should I do? I found a baby mammal, what should I do? I found a baby squirrel, what should I do? I found a reptile, what should I do? What do I do if I find a bat? How do I tell if a wild animal is orphaned or if the parents are simply out of sight? Should I try to reunite a baby animal with his or her parents? If so, how do I go about that? My cat, dog, attacked a bird, a rabbit, or a mouse, etc. What should I do? A bird has struck my window. What should I do? An animal is stuck in a glue trap. How can I help? An injured deer needs help. What should I do? An animal appears to have mange. What should I do? Should I try to rehabilitate a wild animal? What should I do about a wild animal who is habituated to humans? How do I capture and transport a wild animal? And, or can I get help transporting wildlife? So those are all like really good FAQs. And even if you don't even come up in this, like, okay, what I'm trying to say is don't wait until the situation happens. Like go and educate yourself, read about it, and then you're gonna be more mindful because honestly, there may be an injured bird and you don't even notice it, but you're gonna, when you read about this, like just knowledge is power. So, you know, I'll just start with the, I found a baby bird. They give you a really nice little flow chart. We all love a good flow chart. So it's like, you know, the first thing, I found a baby bird, now what? So it's, is the baby bird hurt or sick? And then, you know, in parentheses, unable to flutter wings, bleeding wings, drooping, weak or shivering, attacked by a dog or cat. So like if you were to call an animal rehab center, they're gonna need to know this information to assess as well. So this is good to think about this. And then the next question is, if it's no, is the bird feathered? It, I'm not gonna go down the whole thing. You can look at the thing because it's gonna take too long, but it just kind of gives you a really nice flow chart and just questions that I honestly, before February this year would have never even thought of. Um, but it is just so sweet and so important for us to think about our animal neighbors. So all that being said, I haven't even told you that the app is called Animal Help Now. Um, animal Help Now 
A-N-I-M-A-L-H-E-L-P-N-O-W. And then what's really good is like here it's auto putting my address and then I could just click, click, I just select it and I click wildlife emergency. And then it gives me bada boom, bada bing, a list of people that are close to me. And on here, I just see a list of my local rehabbers and I can give them a call if I have a question. But I highly recommend looking at the FAQs before calling the, these people because, um, you know, there's, they have staffing issues. Most of these rehab centers are nonprofit and you already know the name of the game with nonprofits, unfortunately, and I hope that changes, but you know, understaffed and they're all working their hardest. So anyways, basically the point of this video is I wanted to share what I have learned. I have learned about this amazing app and I have learned about just being more mindful of our animal friends and you know, they need our help too. I mean, a lot of times us humans, we can get in the way. I don't know if I've read this mission statement, but I'm just gonna read it again if I haven't. It says, the mission for this app, Animal Help Now, provides the best wildlife 911 apps and helps humans to be better neighbors to wildlife. Animal Help Now also advocates on behalf of wildlife and educates the public about minimizing everyday threats to animals, such as vehicle strikes, vehicle strikes, window strikes, and cat and dog attacks. Those happen a lot. So it's just important to be mindful of that. You know, it's easy to hit a bird when you're driving, you don't notice it. You know, it's easy for a bird to fly into a window and it's not that the bird is dumb. I've heard people say dumb birds. It's because the reflection, it's a whole thing that I can't even speak on, but I know it happens a lot where a bird will fly through, try to fly through a window and obviously it, it injures itself or it gets injured. So you know, and that has to deal with light pollution. Like when birds are migrating, the light pollution affects the migration season. It's a whole thing, guys. Like we are all interconnected. So yeah, it's just education is key. Uh, ba -ba okay, this video is almost over. I am just very passionate about this. So I'm gonna read something else that they said really nice on this app. It said, they said, imagine a world in which people respect wildlife. Are familiar, are familiar with the threats facing wildlife and act to minimize them, are educated about wildlife emergencies and are empowered to effectively help orphan, injured and distressed wild, distressed wild animals. Are, imagine a world in which people are educated about living in harmony with wildlife and empowered to effectively and humanely resolve human wildlife conflicts. Imagine a world where people place high value on the services provide, provided by wildlife rehabilitators, humane wildlife conflict operators, and other wildlife experts. Okay, so my preachy preach is over. Download the app or just like start Googling, you know, animal wildlife conservation and help and just think about it. Or even just when you're outside, just look up at the tree. Is there a nest in there? And just know and hope that they don't cut that tree down because birds go back to the same tree every single year to have babies. So it's just being mindful and just being conscientious and um, just knowing that we're all interconnected and we can be really good neighbors to them. So again, the name of the app that I found, or actually another volunteer told me about, is called Animal Help Now, Effective Immediately. And it is, it's like red. Um, I have too much stuff on my phone. I don't know if you can see it, but right there, that one is it. So, um, so anyways, I highly advise, download the app, educate yourself, and be kind to yourselves, be kind to our animal neighbors. Um, we need more kindness in this world. So I think that's it. I hope you are having a great day. I hope you are being kind to yourself. I hope you're being kind to your neighbors, um, humans and non-humans. So that is it from my heart to yours, sending you L-O-V-E with an exclamation mark. Ciao.